What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dio, aka Bonds Urban Tech Reviews. Got a quick video right here. Um, today, uh, <laughs> it ain't really a good day, and it really it happened yesterday. But I had a, a failed drop test on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. You might even be able to see it from here. But I'm gonna give you a quick little uh, a view of it. Now you see it's in the case. So let me, let me pop it out this case real quick. Uh, there we go. And it's out the case. And you see right there. Wow, look at that. It's horrible. And you see it goes all the way up here. And even a little hairline going up there. So, it was a failed drop test yesterday, and it, it, it wasn't done on purpose. It wasn't done on purpose, but um, what happened was I was changing cases. I was in the basement putting on a new case. I sat this one. I sat my phone on the deep freezer while I was getting a new case out the bag, and it slid off the deep freezer hit the ground, face down, crack. And you know, I didn't even notice the crack, you know what I mean, immediately. So I picked it up, put it back on the deep freezer, grabbed the case I wanted, and went to put the case on, and this is what happened. So my Gorilla Glass failed me. You see, I got the, the hairline crack going up the screen. You can see that one, the one right here to the left, and the bottom left corner cracked. You see all that horrible. So, um, my man Kevin, you know, from the stream, told me to look up um, what is it, Samsung, Samsung Plus. So I looked up Samsung Plus. I called Samsung Plus, and uh, you know, seeing how much they gonna charge me to repair my phone. They said it would take about nine to uh, eleven days, so about two weeks, and it would run me uh, like two sixty nine to repair my phone. Now, luckily, and this is the craziest part about it, I usually never break my phones. Like this might be the first phone that I I, I ever broke that I had. I did get a replacement before, but it wasn't because, oh yeah, it's the second, because the last, uh, I forget what I had, um, it was a Samsung device, I had it on my lap in the car, I opened up the car door and it fell out, hit the concrete and cracked, so it's the second phone that I actually broken, but luckily I had the, the, uh, the insurance on it, I got Verizon Wireless, I got the insurance on it, so I can go through a Shorion and get uh, a replacement device, which sir, my man Kevin even told me that they'll probably give me a refurbished device. So I won't even get a brand new device. So I can go through my insurance, it's a Shurion through Verizon. And I think most carriers, insurance companies are Shurion. And I can go through them, get uh, a refurbished phone, and they're gonna charge me 200 bucks. So they're gonna charge me 200 bucks for the replacement. Or I can go through the uh, the Samsung Plus people and get a brand new phone for uh, 269 bucks. Now theirs is going to be, you know, like I said, about two weeks. If I go through my insurance and go through a Shorion, they'll have me a phone in like two days, a day, maybe two days. You know what I mean? So, and I won't have to, you know, miss this because I can hold on to this, and until you know the new one comes, I should ship this one in. So that's the dilemma right now, but you see it's a failed drop test, not purposely done drop test. Um, the back is still intact, you know what I mean? The back is still good. It's just there's this front corner right here. It's super ugly right there. But I just wanted to put that video out there for y'all, man. It's your boy, D-O, a.k.a. Bonds Urban Tech Reviews. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. Um... Holler at your boy in the comment section. Um, thumb up this video. If you're not following me on any of my social media sites, you're losing out. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Get at me on Snapchat, 
Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, the Gram. I'm everywhere you want to be like Visa, baby. But we out, though. Till the next time. Deuces.